yes come to the next part what does the writer want to say about mumbai she wanted to say that mumbai is a vibrant city there is all the time economic social political and cultural activities going on and earlier time mumbai also faced various terrorist attacks so as you may be heard and the um, the mumbai uh, there is a great underworld uh, going on in the mumbai and so you have heard the name of daud and they were one time blasted there in the year 1992 and then in a few one or more time that the underworld people tried to attack to mumbai to stop the financial activities of india but the author emphatically told us that the this attack this terrorist attack is the most um, most horrible one and most dangerous one and it is a kind of mass attack attacking all the people at the same time so this is uh, her assessment of this attack in the end when one tries to make a make sense of all this one is reminded of what Barack Obama said about 9/11 so all of you know that on 9/11 people uh, the Turkey terrorist people attack America my powers of empathy my ability to reach into another sort cannot penetrate the blank stares of those who would murder innocent with abstract serin satisfaction unfortunately this is becoming an all to familiar scene in today's world so underline kono unfortunately this is becoming an all to familiar scene in today's world so the writer un- wanted to say that this terrorist attack uh, is becoming a very familiar scene all over the uh, world it is not attacking only the indian it is attacking in um, it is common in america in britain in germany in france in spain even in israel afghanistan even the country pakistan is also facing the attack of this terrorist so it is a very familiar scene all over the world i cannot understand if i can recognize again and again the hatred anger and desperation of the terrorist and the cold blooded targeted ruthlessness of the who dispatch them they respect nothing but their own twisted beliefs underline they respect nothing but their own twisted beliefs to achieve them they have declared war on every other way of life india now find itself a major front in this global war so in this part just try to understand what does the writer want to say about the terrorist what is the goal of the terrorist the goal of the terrorist is to achieve something according to their own definitions they believe something and they want that the whole world should believe that thing they don't have any respect for other beliefs and they wanted to achieve those things by hook or crook by using power by uh, declaring war against a nation by declaring war against a state etc so in this respect terrorists must all at the same they have some kinds of beliefs and according to their idea uh, they are correct and all the other people are incorrect so they would have to try to achieve their goal Uh, even by using power 
and in this process of achieving the common people are killed mercilessly why because if the common people are killed and that would the force the nation or the political leaders to submit to their demands so their objective is to attack the common people now the writers want to say what should be the solution to this problem of this terrorist attack in the last part we would read the solution how do you fight such hate how do you inject humanity into such monstrosity how do you convince those who think they kill in god's name that no god would condone such barbarity how do we maintain our own values and humanity when faced with such hate and provocation over the next week as we say goodbye to those we have lost and help those who have survived these are the questions that mumbai and india will be asking themselves i hope the rest of the world does to thanks again for all your thoughts and prayers so the writer here has put up a challenge or put up a question how we should deal with this terrorist attack she wants to say that if we want to uh, if we want to term in conditions with the term if we want to uh, come to the point at the negotiation table with the terrorist in terms of violence that would never solve a problem if the terrorist attacked us and in respect of that if we attack the terrorist if we kill the terrorist then this attacking and reattacking killing and rekilling that would go on uh, days after days year after years how it come to us all we must think of an alternate path we must think of an alternate method we must think of discussions we must think in terms of peace and uh, inclusion so we must try to understand the problem of those young people who think that they have to wage a war against the nation we must try to fill their sense of deprivation etc in this way we must try to address the problem or we must try to solve the problem we can do it by just attacking the terrorist it will uh, shed more and more blood so that is the ultimate point of the writer and again she thanked all the people who were by her side at the time of crisis thank you very much now please uh note down the um questions and the answers of the questions given in the text part so we have completed our syllabus of the revision test and the other text which was in your second monthly but not in the revision test as there is no chance of second monthly so we are not teaching that text just read this three texts the owl uh, the diary of anna frank and in this times of adversity that would be sufficient for you to uh, prepare yourself for the revision test thank you very much